Welcome back. This is part three of Better Loading. We're going to talk about stacking weeks, otherwise known as your meso cycle. So your basic week, your micro cycle, and then the meso cycle. Typically, we think in terms of months, but I'm going to encourage you to think outside the box with that. So in part one, I talked about how I got a little carried away in February with three big weeks, which were then followed by 14 days where I had to go very light to shake the fatigue. I put myself in too big of a hole. So one thing to remember about each week is to judge it by the following week. What happens the week after? And if you have a tendency to push yourself over the edge, you're going to have to lower where you're aiming those micro cycles. So you'll be able to stack the micro cycles. So in part three here, we're gonna talk about when it works well. And for me, in my summer, it worked really well. And so let's dig into that. We're gonna shrink me down and put me up in the corner. Okay, so this is a series of weeks running from when I got back injured from my first uh, race of the season, my first series of races with my son in Sweden. And it runs through until the last week before I headed off to Sweden. And there's no easy weeks in here. And here's something to think about with your mesocycle. If you get it right, you're gonna be able to get more training weeks, more key days, and more load. But it's gonna force you to preemptively rest. And what I mean by that is you're gonna to need to back off at the first sign of fatigue. So you're gonna to need to use dynamic loading. And before you're actually really tired, you're gonna to have to back off. And as a result, you're gonna ultimately get more bigger days in and more load in. And I just wanna highlight that to you. So these weeks, there's a way to measure training load called a training stress score. And these weeks, as you'll see, they start, I'm sort of recovering here. It's a 600 week, 690 week, then it's an 800 week, a 700 week. So it's variable, I'm loading, I'm kind of managing, trying to get back to being healthy, I'm building the cycling. And then in these final weeks, you'll see it goes about 850, 975, 850, 1000, and then five days at about 650 points. And the points is just a way to measure uh, your, your load. So if you're going moderately, a moderate effort, low to moderate effort, you might be racking up, say, 60, 65 points an hour. So it gives you a bit of a feel. The total hours in these weeks was anywhere from about 14 hours on the smaller weeks up to 20 hours on the bigger weeks. Now, in this bottom column, what I want you to notice is the key days. How many key days? Loading days. So we talked about that in the microcycle. And what I said was the most loading days I ever got into a week was four when we were talking about the Swedish 5-2 loading cycle. And you'll see some of these weeks, although the weeks are big, I only got two loading days, three loading days there in that week. Uh, looks like kind of two or three loading days there, two big days there, and three big days in that final block. And that's what it's really about late summer. It's about having the variability in the tough days, the key days, as well as using the easy days, keeping them easy so you add up to the training and absorb the load. So the key thing for you to remember is the preemptive rest. The role of preemptive rest is to let you stack the weeks so that no one week really spoils the week after it and you can progress. Now, I don't recommend you ramp infinitely and that comes back to the tip from part one is if you get to the point where you know you're not gonna be able to go up from where you are, it's probably time to consolidate and back off. And if you haven't gotten too tired, you might find that you don't need to back off for seven days or 14 days like I did last spring. You might only need to back off for say three days or four days or five days. Whatever it takes to absorb the prior load, I recommend you do it because if you ignore that, you're gonna to need to rest more later and you run the risk of getting a little overreached and possibly going stale in your training. 
So I hope that helps. Thanks.